Hi, my name is Monica and welcome to Guru Grit, a place for curiosity, exploring, learning, and the most annoying thing a teacher has ever said to any of us, there's no such thing as a stupid question and honestly, there pretty much isn't. Context is everything. So welcome and let's get talking today about today's topic, which is when, timing, when can things happen? So if you're interested in knowing more, email me, write to me, read my articles on Medium or find me on TikTok. And thank you so much for being here. Now, I just want to preface this by saying there's a little butterfly that keeps landing and fluttering around my legs and it won't leave. I don't know if it's the lotion I used after my shower um, or my natural charm, but uh, it won't leave me alone. I find that so funny. So if you see them fluttering around, we'll just uh, leave that in the video because they're super cute. I find that really adorable. Little animal friends kind of makes me feel like a Disney character. And Libras always uh, remind me of butterflies. I just think they're like a social butterfly. They're very gracious, they're very pretty. And uh, even the men, they're pretty like the women. I find them very attractive. So I remember uh, a TikTok I saw this morning, a girl wrote, and again, I'm sorry, I don't know who did it, but she said, uh, every bad B word, every bad bitch has a butterfly tattoo. I don't know, I don't make the rules, they just do. And I found that really funny because I had a coworker who was really like a strong person and just like amazing. And I was like, you're so strong, but you're also so wonderful. You know, she just had like an answer for everything. She's so diplomatic. And I was like, what's your sign? She's like, I'm a Libra. I'm like, it makes perfect sense. And then like the next day she was getting changed and she took off her sweater. She was in a nurse's uniform and the sleeve rode up. And she's from a very like conservative culture and part of the world. And she had a giant butterfly tattoo all the way down like that. And I was like, that is so fitting. It was just so cool. So it just reminds me of my little Libra friends. I love them so much. All right, let's get into it. When can things happen? So, so much as what happens and when it happens, what's most important is how something is done. So if you say to yourself, I want to manifest this thing, but I want it now, oftentimes what you do is you set yourself back because you're saying it with a lack of trust and a sense of urgency. It sounds counterintuitive, but in fact, to let go of the need to have something quickly and under the conditions that you want. Like you can be specific and you can have it how you want it. But what I'm saying is how you put that energy out is actually how it's going to come back to you. It's gonna reflect that back to you. If you're relaxed and you say, you know what, I'm happy to get married. It doesn't matter if it's in six months, a year, or five years. I'm just, I'm just enjoying myself. Boom, it'll hit you like lightning. <laughs> it's usually how it works out. We have a family friend, um, she said she left her home country and when she landed, she said she was young, she was out of a relationship, she finally moved out of her small town. She was excited to start her life, do something different, you know, go abroad, be someone, be something successful. And she said, I'm not thinking about men. The last thing I'm thinking about, no one come up to me, no one approach me. I was gonna go be, you know, successful and live my life and travel and see things, <laughs> she said. And boom, I get off the plane. The first person I meet at the airport, married 30 plus years later, you know? It's so funny, but you never know how it comes. Um, <clears throat> so it's better not to even question it. Just don't question it. Just go with the flow. And the more you go with the flow, the quicker it comes. Often we have this very numerical, like linear, fact-based, logical, you know, it's, um, if I start here, and I end here, it should take this long, and it's gonna take, sometimes if you just go in a zigzag pattern, something a little bit eccentric, you actually arrive much faster because your emotional state and your mental state are much more higher, and if you have a heightened emotional state, it influences your thoughts, your thoughts influence your emotions, you're happy, it comes a lot quicker. These things are very, very, very possible. You know, you could see people who are looking for a job for a year, uh, this happened to my friend's friend. I know her as well, an acquaintance. Uh, she was finished university, couldn't get a job, worked retail, took some course in college, still couldn't get a job, was so stressed, didn't know what to do, up to her ears and bills and tuition, and she said, I just don't care anymore. She said, I just took the money I had, I booked a week to see my cousins in the West Coast, and then when I came back, I packed again, and I booked a week and I went on vacation in the Caribbean. And within the month, she not only got a job, she got a really good job. She didn't start, you know, interning. She didn't start from the bottom. She got in there and she was set. And to the extent that my friend is more educated than her, than her, and she couldn't believe that my friend was making less money than her when she did it, but she was relaxed, you know, she just let it happen. These things happen all the time. When you're feeling good, 
things come to you very rapidly. But when you ask, when is it coming? Eh, it jams it. It really, really gets it stuck. And sometimes it looks very tricky. It doesn't look how you think it looks. A friend of mine got married about 35, 36, and I said, what's it like? And she said, you know what? Now I know it comes. It comes for everyone who wants it, but it doesn't look how you think it's gonna look. You know, it looks something like entirely different and maybe that's a part of it. So that if we know what it looks like and we can figure it out, we suck the magic out of life. A part of knowing is really not knowing. The beginning of wisdom is to know that you know nothing, as they say, or admit that you know nothing. And that's one of the reasons I don't favor predictive astrology. Oh, there's my butterfly friend. Um, because you suck the magic out of life. You want to be able to be empowered and know that you can do anything. So I'll talk about that more later, but for now, I, speaking of you know how it looks, uh, I was getting my hair done and the stylist was talking to me and she had left a long-term relationship with her partner. She was helping him raise his son and she said, you know, I'm happy, I'm living on my own, I'm enjoying my life and I'm not scared at all because usually it's times like this that everything works out. She said, my friend was with her boyfriend for 10 years, from 16 to 26. It was two months before their wedding. They were engaged for a long time. And she just said, just can't do it. Just couldn't do it. The families were furious. You know, everything was booked. The dress was bought. The dude was like, what in the, you know? And she said, I just couldn't. I just couldn't, I just couldn't marry him. I don't know. Something just came over me. I just said, I can't do this. I can't do this. And she said, you won't believe it. You won't believe it. Three months later, <clears throat> not a year, not half a year, one whole season, three months later, she said she was engaged and married. No, engaged and pregnant to somebody else. And I was like, and then what? She was like, oh, nothing. They have three kids and they've been married eight years and they're actually really happy. And I was like, huh. So it's so funny because like you think, okay, I'm getting married but it doesn't feel right. You trust your intuition, it works out another way. But it comes packaged in this really weird thing. And actually, I retold a story to a good friend of mine who's a bit older, and I said, yeah, and then, you know, she broke off this uh, relationship of 10 years, and three months later, she was engaged and pregnant to someone else. Can you believe it? And she just nonchalantly cut me off, and she goes, let me guess, they have a bunch of kids now, and they're happily married? And I was like, yes, how did you know? And she says, I just, it's like a common phenomenon. It's like a common phenomenon where you're like up against it and you think this is it and you just, you turn, you completely turn everything like 180 degrees and you go in a totally different direction. Everything falls out of the sky and like completely into place. So she says it's happened to some of her friends. She said, you know, yeah, it's happened to some of them. They were with someone, the guy left them or they just said, Do you know what, what am I doing? Like something random, like something, they're picking up a sock off the floor and they had a schism in their consciousness and they were like, I can't do this. And uh, within a month, within three months, within six months, they're doing everything with someone else that they were, were not doing with someone they were with for half a lifetime. It can happen overnight. Lots of things happen overnight. You can be bagging groceries and humming a tune and you're discovered by a record executive. You could be pumping gas and dancing a jig and someone puts you up on the internet and you're a viral sensation, unbeknownst. That's it, you found your calling, you know, something, something can just happen. You don't know how and you don't know why, so don't worry about that. Just think about enjoying your life. When you think about timing, ironically, it takes longer. <laughs> That's just how it is. That's just how it is. I think the universe is like a creation of the creator. It has no will of its own. It has a function, like a machine, and it just does what it does. But our God has a sense of humor. <laughs> so, as and when, it is ordained it will happen in its right time. For you to worry about time makes no sense. It's like worrying which way your hair grows. It just grows. <laughs> it just comes in. Or your eyelashes, they just grow. You don't think about that. You just breathe at night. You just fall asleep. You don't think about breathing while you sleep. You just sleep. It's so simple. When you stand up, you just stand. You don't think, now I have to put the left foot first and the right foot and I have to not lose my balance and watch where I'm going. You just walk and daydream. You just walk and talk and do what you're doing, you know? So it's really just such a natural, organic function of existence, timing and everything to do with it. Allow it to have its way with you. Have fun from time to time. Relax. And in fact, even when you need things urgently, they come when you don't stress about it. A very good anecdote is the story by uh, Jerry and Esther Hicks, who are amazing teachers. 
um, they were at a restaurant when Jerry was still with us and they said that they after their seminars sometimes they have a big envelope of cash even though they always ask people to pay by card and they take it with them and they pull over in a restaurant and they had a lovely waitress who was really bubbly and on impulse for some reason Jerry just reached across his wife grabbed the envelope lots of money lots of money in this envelope and he just went um we want you to have this like this is for you and she said, thank you very much and he said uh, they she went into the back and they literally heard plates break like smash and she runs back out and she's like shaking and she says you won't believe it my roommate suddenly moved out without warning and I didn't know how I was gonna pay my rent tomorrow and when I woke up this morning I said to myself something really good is gonna happen to me today and you've just given me my rent money just like that and Jerry said to her apparently if you had told us that story beforehand we wouldn't have given it to you <laughs> but do you see when you advertise to to your God to our universe to existence to the world to life to others your despondency your helplessness your neediness your urgency it can only bring you things that are equally urgent but when you're happy and easygoing oh it attracts more reasons to be happy so go put a skip in your step today make the most of whatever you're going through and always have hope when there's hope you're completely invincible so I wish you all the best. Thank you so much for being here. I'm going to go film some more answers and I love you so much. Thank you for watching and your wonderful words of support. They mean so much to me. Bye-bye.